Hello and welcome to this Kogi Engine video. I'm Renaud from Our Mountains and today I'm going to show you what's new in version 4.3 of the Kogi Engine. Alright, so let's start things off by having a look at the new um, environment that comes with this new version of the Kogi Engine. Uh, this new environment is called Retro and as you can see it takes inspiration from um, retro games and um, it comes in three flavors so you'll have retro clouds that's the one we're in right now retro mountains and retro forest all these are time map based and take um, full support from the new time map system introduced in the latest version of unity um, this will allow you to create levels super fast and uh, you'll see that the engine now comes with a bunch of tiles that you can reuse and uh, we'll see that in in a moment so um, if we uh, go to our editor that's that's our level as you can see it's uh, based on on tiles so you, i have like um, ground tiles and rock tiles and stuff like that and if i have a look at my tile palette uh, you can see that I have all these at my disposition and we'll see that there are more, uh, especially the props here. Um, so let's try by uh, maybe paint some platforms. So I select my active time map and say platforms because as you can see I have a grid here. That's the grid and I have a bunch of layers, platforms, one-way platforms, bi-directional ladders, uh, that's these ones treat meals etc so when when you uh want to paint something you have to make sure that you have selected the right layer first right now i, I want to paint some some ground so um let's see i can do that and as you can see it automatically you know uh changes uh the current tile to match the environment so uh, you can automatically have that kind of stuff and that that's really cool um, and then maybe I want to paint some background rocks that I would be able to climb on. I can just do that. Uh, I can also have, you know, maybe blocks like these. And I can have maybe treadmills. So I would select the treadmill and do that. And I can have some ice. So I select the ice blocks. And now if I press play, and if I go um, to that section of the game, let's see if I can manage to get there. Yeah, I, I have a really high uh, jump count because I was tired of walking around, but you can of course change that. Oh, we have a new uh, swimming animation too. That's something that, that's been heavily requested. And as you can see, I put some treadmills there, some one-way platforms. Uh, and it's all working just great. Bluff. Here I go. Um, another thing you may want to do is uh, add some props. Initially, I wanted to add them as tiles, but the Unity system right now is a bit limited when it comes to that. So you ha you'll have to uh, de do it differently. So there's a props layer right here in the grid. And let's say I want to add maybe a ladder, so I would put it right here in the scene, move it into my props layer, and then it will automatically snap to the grid, uh, which is really nice because that way your elements uh, can be easily positioned and you you don't end them having, you know, half a pixel off. Uh, you can do it with more complex stuff like moving platforms. And if I put it here, uh, you'll see that I can really easily uh, change the, the path element position. So let's say I want, right now it's gonna move. If I press play, you'll see that it goes uh, left and right towards uh, its two direction points, path elements. But if I add a third one and say, okay, maybe um, three, yep. I now have a moving platform that goes up and down. Um, when it comes to uh, tile work, I'd suggest changing the points using these values because this way you'll get exact values, but of course you can still do anything you want and position it however you want, but uh, you know it won't be perfectly on the grid anymore. Uh, and uh, just like that, you can add jumpers, you can add uh, level end, 
you can add uh, you know portals you can add wind zones uh, that will trigger you know uh, some wind and you have these tiny leaves stuff like that really super simple and you can still have access to the inspectors uh, because for example the moving platforms you, you need that that's the reason why it's not part of the type palette i hope um, unity will allow us to create you know actual ties that work there but right now the only solution i had found was to create new brushes and i don't think it's really user friendly so as i said before there are also uh, new levels so this one is called retro forest and it's focused at inventories and weapons and it comes with a bunch of new stuff uh, for example now you can modify your movement speed as you can see when i attack i'm now moving backwards um, because i have a multiplier for that that's something you can change on your weapon if you go to prefabs weapons select the retro machine gun um, here you can see that you can now um, add a movement multiplier and this means that for example you could prevent movement by setting to zero, for example, uh, which would make it uh, impossible for me to move while attacking. As you can see, I'm trying to walk, but I can't. Um, new stuff, new stuff. Yeah, we have a new ability. Uh, if I select my, my character here, uh, retro core game. As you can see, there's a new character particles ability. And this will allow me to determine a number of uh, particle systems that will be activated every time one of these other abilities is active. And the reason why it's not on each ability is because it gives you more control that way. Um, a good example of that is when I'm running, as you can see, I'm, I'm triggering particles. Uh, there's also one when I wall jump for some reason. And uh, one when I dash, which one is the dash key on this one? Yeah, I've lost my dash key. Oh, that's F. As you can see, there are like small particles of wind that are generated when I dash. That's the kind of stuff you can do now. So this new version changes a lot of stuff. Uh, you get the retro environment, the time maps support. Um, um, I'd suggest reading the, the release notes because I, I could read them to you, but it's uh, it's going to be a long one. Um, I'm just going to show you two new things. They are small stuff, but you know, uh, I think it's it's kind of cool. The first one is called uh, Minimal Rooms. It's a new demo scene, and as you can see, uh, it, it's based on the minimal environment. But of course, it would work with any of the uh, demo environments or even yours, of course. Um, and this one is made of two rooms. So if I press play, uh, you'll see that my character starts in this room. And this looks like this. And this room is quite empty, but I have a blue gate. And if I press play, well, play space, I get into uh, the green room. Well, the one with the green door, at least. And uh, you can see there's now a small fade. And it's more, you know, less teleported than, than it was before. Uh, this will allow you to create, you know, Castlevania stuff, stuff like that. Uh, you can, of course, uh, go to another scene. But right now, if we go inside a new scene, uh, the same scene, you can def define a fade to black, uh, the fade duration. You could have it last like one second, for example. And it would look like this. So really easy to tweak. You can also decide uh, to teleport the camera, which is what's happening right now, but you can also have it move around uh, to show you maybe the direction of the new place. Uh, so really, lots of lots of stuff uh, that you can do with it, and it's really simple to set up. And one last thing is the minimal spawners demo scene. This one is really simple too, but it's something that's been uh, well requested actually by one person, but I thought it would be nice. Uh, and this one is a way to spawn enemies. So um, you define a spawner, it will generate an object pool and it will put some enemies for you to, to shoot at. And if you were to uh, kill these enemies, 
well that that was stupid um if you if you kill these enemies uh like for example um if i disable one if i manage to select one and i disable it it will spawn another one and that would have been the case if i were to shoot it but my character is a bit harmless right now so you, you can give it a try um yeah that's it also a bunch of um, bug fixes as usual um especially related to respawn so if you had respawn issues uh, before stuff that wasn't responding as you thought it would respond uh, maybe you can give it another try and if you find any bugs please report them to me i'll be happy to help and, and send you a fix as soon as possible thanks for watching i hope uh, you'll like this new version of the Kogi engine and i'll see you soon